the most asked questions on this channel. Where to search for queen ants, how to look for queens, and how to catch the queens you find. Today, I take you with me on queen ant hunting, plus a surprise reveal for Ants Vienna family members. Right after the intro. Hello and welcome to another video, Ants Vienna family. If you are new to the channel, our intro should have given you a rough idea on what we do here, namely lots of ant keeping. If you have researched the topic at least a little, you know that becoming an ant keeper in the first place requires you to get an ant queen in order to start your pet ant colony. The queen ant is not only the first, but also the founding and the single most important member of an ant colony. And provided that she is fertilized, she will start and continue to lay eggs up to her very last day, as long as you take good care of her. And speaking of care, in case of these fascinating insects called ants, this can be a very, very long time. There are reports that state a Lazius Niger queen became almost 30 years old in captivity. 28 and 3 quarters to be exact. And she was still able to produce fertilized eggs up to that very day. So, becoming an ant keeper by starting your own ant colony requires a great amount of responsibility over a great amount of time, like with many other pets. You still with me? Good, because this means that you take things seriously. So, queen ant here, queen ant there, but how do you get yourself your first queen ant? This is the question that pops up for new ant keepers. Well, in my knowledge, there are three ways to get your first queen. First, you can buy her online. Second, you can trade for one. Or somebody is just nice enough to give you one for free. Or the third way, the way I started, which in my opinion is admittedly the most fun and exciting way to get to your first queen is to go out there and catch her yourself. And this is exactly what we are going to do today. So do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button and subscribe with the bell icon if you haven't already. That lets me and YouTube know that you like my content. Now let's get outside. Today is a very sunny, warm and humid day of May here in Austria, which means we have good chances to find and eventually catch ourselves one or even more quinans. So, whenever I leave the house on a sunny day like this between May and September, I always carry at least a couple of these files or any other see-through box with me. The only important thing is that it should have no openings where the ants could escape through. Where to search and how to look out for a queen is a question I get asked a lot. And there is no single correct answer to that. Because Depending on where in this world you live in, there are all kinds of habitats to which the different species of ants are accustomed to. So for me, living in Europe, Austria, the places I had most success in queen searching or hunting 
as we call it under us and enthusiasts, all have the same shame. Pathways in front or near forests or any kind of vegetation. That will be this road for me, but maybe the local park for you. When looking for Quinans, there are a few things to consider, like what species are native in your area and when exactly do those ant species have their nuptial flights. I have already made a video on nuptial flights and the nuptial flight schedule I use, so I will link you that in a card right now. Back to our hunt. Since it is May, I know that here in Vienna, Austria, I can encounter Campanotus queens this time of the year. And from my experience, if I were to describe Campanotus queenants, I'd say they are a bit on the slow but bursty side. What I mean by this is that they move fast then stop moving for a while, then cover some distance again, and so on. So, when I am looking for them, I tend to take a couple of steps, then pause, look around, then take the next couple of steps, look again, and so on. This way, I am more likely to catch a Campanotus queen off guard when she starts moving because I can notice her moving while I'm not. If I would only walk straight without making these stops in between, I am more likely to miss them by just walking by them when they stand still. Because when they stand still, they're harder to spot, right? Okay, here we have a Campanotus lignipertus worker. You can easily misjudge those for queens due to their size. Let's walk further. Okay guys, I had to catch this one off camera because she would have gotten away otherwise. This is a Campanotus phallax queenant. Let me get her into focus. There. This is not fast forward. They really are moving this fast. More details when we have a look at the day's catches later. Okay, that's all for my neighborhood. But we are also visiting my girlfriend's grandparents today, after a long time since a specific pandemic broke out. And the action started right away. Before we even parked the car, I told my girlfriend to stop and I jumped right out because I saw something crawling over there where we normally park the car. And we wouldn't want to crush that beauty. I've put that plastic box on her so I can film her for you guys. That's probably a Campanotus Vagus queen. And I always wanted to catch one of these. Awesome! Now, while the others proceeded preparing the barbecue, I of course had only one thing in my mind. I was searching for more. So, I took a look around the house and found these. These are some Formica species. Judging from the size and coloring, probably either Formica sanguinea or Formica rufa. I'd say sanguinea is probably more accurate because they don't have the typical rufa housing, but have this earth nest with multiple entrances and exits instead.
Let me show you how it looks from above. Okay, we're going to proceed the search now. Needless to say, I ate fast that day so that I can go out and search for even more queens. And so, we went for a walk and look for queens here and there, carefully looking around for anything that might be crawling. Whoa! Did you see that, guys? That was probably a flying queen there. I didn't even notice that real life. I just noticed when editing the footage. I'm going to continue walk this road and take you with me when I find something. And sharp eyes are always rewarded when queen hunting. Here she is on the same pavement hiding around those little patches but she won't fool me see she's waiting and there she goes she's running whoa 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 let me do that and restrained her looks like just the one I found before definitely Campanotus as we walked further we have reached the woods and while the others walk away I always keep my eyes peeled on the ground searching for any kind of ant and I've found these workers doing their job. Real workaholics. And just a meter away, I saw her. A Formica queen. Too fast for me to recognize what species. After exiting the woods, we've reached this rural area. The woods are now on our right. And I am pretty sure that we're going to meet more queens if we follow that path. And I was exactly on point. There she goes, running. Looks like just the one I saw before. Only this time, I got some time to check her out. This is a Formica Rufa Queen. Just making sure to keep my distance, because these can see you from very far away. If they don't see your shadow, they can see you from approximately 30 to 40 centimeters away. There, she just spotted me. And is now on her way. And we're going to let her be. Just a few meters away, I spotted another one. Also a Formica Rufa. And with this one, I tried to get close enough to get her on camera for you guys, but still not let her spot me, so that I could see how she would react without noticing me there. Beautiful, isn't she? This glossy abdomen, the glossy gaster, is characteristic for Formica rufa. 
and this bright red in between. I try to position myself a little bit closer to the ground. Let me zoom in. On spot. The only thing that I could wish for now is that they weren't a protected species here in Austria. And in case you didn't know, many ant species are protected in different countries. So I know for a fact that Formica rufa is protected here in Austria, Germany and Switzerland. I even have a video on them on this channel. I think it's probably the second video or so I made. But the information is still accurate, guys. So you can feel free to check that out. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get a few good shots at her. She is carefully examining her surroundings. So having given us such marvelous footage, I'm going to let the hunt be for today. But we are not done quite yet, because now we'll examine what we found today. This is the Campanotus phallax queen from before. And what I can say about this species is that they are very shy and are active mostly at night. They only live in colonies of up to 200 individuals. And where there is trouble, they get out of the way. The good thing with them is that you can have a whole colony living in captivity without them requiring much space. And this is how she looked before I gave her all that honey water. Joining us next is this queen here. I found two of them. And they are both pretty big. After looking at them and having some search online, I am now pretty sure that these are Campanotus vagus queens. And that species is a very interesting one because it is very large. I can tell that this queen is only a few millimeters shorter than my Campanotus Ligniperdus queen. I always wait for the queens to lay her first eggs before I give them a few drops of honey water. And we're going to speed that part up. I just waited until she turned over once again and put the honey drops in. And she turned around right away and drank it all the way. Now the question is, did you guys notice her gaster getting bigger? If not, don't sweat it. I'm gonna give her a few more drops. And as I increase the speed to 8 times, 
you have a close eye on her gaster expanding. You see the brown ring on her gaster? This is her skin expanding as she gets more and more of that juicy honey water in there. What's more is that this ant species, Campanotus vagus, are a very active Campanotus species. They don't become as big as Ligniperdus, but have their trade-off by being faster evolving. If I were to characterize this, I'd say that this is sort of a boosted European Nicobarensis species. A Campanotto species that is pretty fast from egg to worker and still reaching impressive sizes. There you go, a happy Campanotus queen cleaning herself. Now, as for our reveal. You guys have been sending me pictures and videos of queens from all over the world lately for me to identify the species. And I am glad you did, because this has shown me that I only have experience with European ants, since this is where I live. So, I quickly realized that I would need help from people all over the world to help you identify the queens that you are going to find in this ant season. Because the biggest bunch of queens is going to start flying right now. And I saw a few of you write that in the chat in our last premiere. So, I am here to deliver. I gladly announce you the Ants Vienna Discord server. A place where we can all exchange our ideas and pictures of the queens we find and help each other out identifying the new queens that we catch this season. Isn't that awesome guys? Now, I don't want to get into too much detail right now because this has already been a long video. I just wanted to let you know that the Entsvena Discord server is now a thing and that you can join after this video is over. So, I'm going to post the link down below in the comments and I'm going to pin that for you so that everyone can see it easily. So feel free to join me and the Ants Vienna family. Just make sure you go over the rules before you post anything, okay? I'm not going to mention every rule right now, but there are a couple that I want to bring up. Number one, our server language is English so that everyone can understand and that we can all help each other. And second, I want you to keep off self-promotions. So, please, no links to your YouTube channels or stuff like that. At least for now. I will consider to make a channel for creators later on where you can post that stuff. For now, I wish us to just be there as John, Mike, Vanessa, Daisy, whoever, okay? Let me just finish off by letting you know that I did set up the server as fast as I could, so this is by no means perfect and I will continue to develop it so that we all get the maximum out of it. So you guys who join right now, after the video, you will be the pioneers of our Discord server. I would like to ask you to let me know if you find anything that isn't working as intended. I promise I'm gonna take a look at it. Okay, thank you for sticking with me. This really was a long video, but I wanted to show you some queen hunting and also announce our Discord server. I hope you guys like it. Let me know that by smashing that thumbs up button, subscribing and, of course, joining our Discord. Before we part, 
let me just wish you all good luck with queen ant hunting this ant season and if you have trouble identifying what species of queen you have just caught now you have a place you can ask for help thank you guys for watching and as always i'll see you in the next video bye ants vienna family <laughs>